Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be doing Awakened Garu from One Punch Man. So it's from the manga, so it's not from the anime. So, you know, spoilers and all that. So, um, it's a pretty cool character design. There's a lot in this sort of drawing in the manga, sort of like lots of black shadow and all this kind of stuff. So I'll try and simplify it down to the lines as best as I can. But it's very difficult to see a lot of his sort of shapes and things of his body, but I'll, I'll try and figure it out, right? So we'll do our best. That's what I'm saying. So don't expect too much. <laughs> but, uh, right, let's try anyway. I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? When I move my hand and stuff. So we'll start with his eyes. So he's kind of got this hunched over sort of pose, right? And his, so his head is like down here, okay? And his big shoulder here. He's kind of semi three quarter pose. So not easy, right? So we'll start with the eyes. So we'll do, yeah, so we'll go. So we'll do it as if he's not colored, right? So we'll do like as much lines and stuff as we can. So we'll go. Diagonal this way. Okay, so like this sort of tick up. Cause he's got these like big white glowing eyes, right? So if you tick this way, and then it'll go down to there, and then we'll bring it back in. So then the other eye, so we're in sort of three quarter pose, right? So it's just down a little bit from it. And then we go up. Like so. And then we'll bring it down and in. Right. So then, right, so he's got like sort of these frown lines. all these cracks and lines and stuff. Right? So like he's kind of, he's kind of made of lava, right? So there's like lots of sort of frown lines and stuff, right? And some frown lines in the middle of his nose. Can't really see his nose, right? There's not much we can see, right? There's just like, a line sort of going diagonal that way. And it sort of goes down like so. And he doesn't have a mouth either. So it's just like, it's pretty much that, right? Not much we can see here, right? And then his chin and his face, right? So his, his chin down here comes around like so. And then this will come up side of his face like so and up the other side as well going up this way right and then this side eventually it joins his hair okay on both sides so like this side will go like so we might have like a little st stuck out sort of part for an ear but it's as if his like his face is covered in black like plastic or something like it's just there's not much we can make out like we've got some lines around underneath his eyes right and underneath this eye there's got these there's these sorts of um, lava lines right so there's three of them so we'll go like whoosh, there so it comes down. It's like these sort of spikes or letters coming down. And these are like all glowing red and white on the inside. So then, so is hair. So we'll just go add these spikes 
it's like jaggedy he's all so it's like real big and long and up that way right and I'm gonna be adding just some sort of extra sort of texture lines and stuff inside and then this comes down it spikes every now and then one in the middle and then we go up the other side Right, like so. Okay. And then like lava, right? So there's like l sort of lightning like lava lines, right? That come out and run up his head. So like these sorts of jaggedy sorts of lines, right? And they're white inside and it's all sort of black around them. Now there is a hell of a lot of this stuff in the actual image I'm drawing from. I won't do it all, I'll just do like the big ones. Right, if you want to add more of this, you can. So like another one. I might add some like texture and cracks and things. Because when I color this, I probably will do sort of a dark gray maybe, like a really dark gray. And we'll have these lines as sort of texture. inside right just the frown lines and stuff right so let's see okay that's basically his face right so it's all like real dark black in here and this is like red lava inside these spikes and he might be like glowing sort of red coming down from these things in his eyes and stuff like that right so We'll do, we'll do his chest, right? So the, he's sort of hunched over. So the middle of his chest, it's not like it comes, it doesn't come down from his chin. The middle of his chest is like underneath the edge of his eye here, right? So chest line comes down that way, right? And then we have a chest muscle that'll go this way and then one that'll go that way. And then this side, we'll bring it down and kind of, he's kind of jaggedy. He's kind of like he's made a rock or something. So coming up here, right, and then this side as well. This this side is bigger, so there's a bigger chest muscle now. There, and then his collarbone is kind of like here, and you know you can add cracks and fissures and. Right, so then the other collarbone will go off this way somewhere. It probably comes out up here, you can't really see it. But we'll add just some more. Uh, stuff like that, right? So he's got straps then on his shoulder, right? So it comes out from behind his hair, kind of just back up here a little bit so like these sorts of straps that go underneath his armpits right so it goes around sort of in here and then up the other side right there's all these fold lines on them we got one on this side as well so that one curves that way this one curves much bigger because this shoulder is much bigger okay so it's gonna go right in underneath his armpit, kind of there. This is like where his armpit would be. And then the strap goes across his shoulder and his shoulders are kind of 
they look like rocks there's like armor on them so that'll take us a while i'd say right so then these straps okay like that so then the rest of his shoulder should come back in here somewhere i think yeah in there and then you'll have sort of a couple of neck muscle lines sort of going this way or like veins or something you might not exactly see neck muscle but kind of like muscle lines i guess just going that way and maybe something there and again they can be cracks and stuff just like that so then on his chest right we've got some more of those sort of lightning big lightning lines so we'll add a few of those right do 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 this one goes up underneath his chin and then it will come out and like there's lots of different ways of doing this of course but it doesn't have to be exactly like mine because mine I'm, I'm just sort of following the general shape that i can see not exactly like it but right and this stuff kind of changes a lot depending on the angle and things like that. So, um, we'll finish his torso, right? So it sort of comes down this way on the other side. So it comes out from his armpit here, right? You know, like this kind of rib-like area. And then his waist, real narrow then here. Comes out and down. Then the other side of his sort of hips. And his sort of crotch area is in there somewhere. And then his leg sticks out down, like all here, right? Roughly goes down that way. And then the bandages are pretty high up on this side. So like up here. So we go down and then across and up. Right, so th then it, this is like like mostly bandage across here, right? So these are all like four lines. Coming across his stomach. Okay. Right, so then there's like bandages all here. And then... Some here as well. So is this like fabric? We can see his leg sort of sticking off here. Comes out and down. Right, and then more bandage. So like some lines coming down this way. Curving down. And then like bandage coming over his leg, I think. So, and then some down here. Some coming off this way as well. It's all sort of crisscrossing one another. So. It's hard to make out, but we'll do our best. So I think this is just all bandage. So then his abs are like lava abs, right? So they're kind of these sort of V-like shapes. So what I mean is, right, so we got like a V here, right? I'm going, we're going following the shape for the body. 
right? So the center of the V's will sort of line up with that curve line. Right, so kind of like this kind of thing, right? And then this will go up underneath his chest. Maybe both sides. Kind of, well, it's kind of a bit of lava there. And I kind of like this, so they kind of like kick up that way. And so these are big sort of lava shapes then. They kind of join together. Like this down here. This is like a big section of lava. I'm calling it lava, but it's probably like chi or energy or something. And so then this one goes up this way. Oh yeah, that should go this way then. Right, so more or less like that. And I might add some like extra sort of lines just. Just to get an idea of. Okay, so. He has like bandages flown off in the wind, but I'll probably do them last. We'll try and get his arms done first, right? So for the arms, like I said, he's got these like shield like things, right? So we'll go down and in one and they can be kind of cracked and stuff coming down the sides, right? So that's one, right? Then the next one will come out from underneath it. So we'll go like so, and then we'll bring it in underneath his arm into there and this can have an edge like that and again you know you can have like hatching lines just to make it look like you know this is kind of dark underneath here if you want fissures and cracks as much as you want right so then we have another one Another shell like sort of area here. One, two, three, and then so this kind of curves that way. And we'll give it an edge again. So I'm adding this hatching just so we, it, it sort of makes it look a bit more shaded rather than just sort of sitting on his arm, you know? And then I think there could be one more here. I can't really see, but... Yeah, I'm gonna add one more, like a small one that like comes underneath here. Right, so like that, right? And then his arm is gonna come out from here, right? So we got like tricep coming down like that, bicep at the front. This has all the stuff on the inside as well, but we'll just add the basics for the minute. And then this kind of has another bump here. And then his elbow has like some more armor, kind of like this, right? But we'll do, I'll do the front first. His forearm comes down this way and then in. So then this sort of armor, right? So we have one there. How many? We'll bring it down to say here. So then it like spikes out. Comes down again. Spikes up, comes down to there. Right, and then so I'll attempt to 
are these like shell like I'm, I'm gonna make them like sort of plates like this right sort of armor plates so then this one what way will I do this one this one will go this way right and you can give them an edge cracks and stuff going up them. Right, something like that anyway. And then more sort of cracks and and stuff on his arm. So more lines and stuff. And it's like he's mostly made of like rock basically. And this stuff looks like lava actually on his hand here. These look like lava cracks, but I could be wrong. Right, kind of like that, right? And then his other arm, so we can see a couple of those sort of spiking out sort of shield things, like one coming out here, and another one coming out here and back in, in underneath there, and maybe one more, just up there. We can kind of just see the tops of them on that side. We can't really make out, well, maybe on this one, you can see sort of the underneath part. And cracks and... All right, like that. And then his tricep will sort of come out, down, like so. His bicep will come out from under here. He's kind of got this like real jaggedy sort of ant like insect like arm. Mine's there, mine coming down here. And then like more sort of lava lines. along here. So these will all be glowing sort of orange and red. And then his forearm, right? So it comes out and we got some more of these sort of shield like armor plates. Coming down like that. And the other side of his forearm sticks out there. And there's like, there's more sort of lava, I think, or like cracks or stuff coming down. I don't know if it's like glowing from the fire from here or if it's actually on his arm, but. Like so, and then, um, right, some like flowing bandages sort of going this way, right? So coming out from like a spiky one there, and then this comes off. Comes off that way, and then some more going off this way. It's kind of ripped and torn and stuff going that way and there's all. Another one up here.
but that's it, I think. That's how to draw Awakened Garu. Pretty complicated, I know. I tried to keep it as simple as I could, but um, yeah, that's it. Hope yourself, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.